Equal AI is a nonprofit organization that was launched by Rob and several other leaders in this space to help reduce unconscious bias and harm in the development and deployment of artificial intelligence. We do that by focusing on responsible AI governance, and we want to try and make it as user-friendly as possible for them to be in the best position to offer trustworthy AI. One small example is the algorithmic impact assessment tool we have on our website. We created that based on what we believe is one of the best frameworks out there for responsible AI governance, and that's the NIST AI Risk Management Framework. NIST, as you may know, has spent several years by congressional mandate, pulling together the best practices, mapping out what you need to do each step of the way, questions you need to ask, who you need to involve in your processes to ensure that your AI is doing what you expect it to do and to make sure that it is hearing your consumers. It's seeing them and it's giving them the services they need uh, without discriminating, presenting cyber risks and, and other concerns that can often embed in AI when you're not being thoughtful, intentional. So why is this something you need to care about? Why are companies working with us to, to do this work? Why is it something that uh, lawmakers are focused on? Well, it, it's because there are bad consequences. We're at a pivotal moment right now where the AI that everyone is excited about and which is bringing great efficiency and, and really a lot of great opportunities uh, can also have a big downside if it's not being developed and deployed in a really thoughtful, responsible way. We can scale discrimination in code and not even know it. We can embed cyber risks. We can create security concerns. There's many different ways that Throughout the AI life cycle, each touch point, particularly each human touch point, is an opportunity for bias and other risks to embed in the AI system. But the good news is there's also an opportunity. Each human touch point is also an opportunity for us to identify and remedy that bias and the other risks. If you're mindful about the use of your AI, if you're making sure that it is in, that is being used with your values and not contrary to your values, your employees know that and they feel that, they see that. We see companies leaving brands, leaving uh, their organizations when they don't feel that their AI is being used responsibly whether it's on them or in how it's being deployed and used with customers. So it's really an important tool to build that base of trust with your employees. Second, you wanna build that trust with your consumers. It's a real opportunity to have a competitive advantage. If you are creating AI where you can demonstrate your focus on it's being responsible and trustworthy, uh, you, you have, a brand integrity benefit. You have people who can trust in your brand, both in, in if they're using it for your AI products, or if you're benefiting from AI otherwise, and they know that you're doing so in a responsible way. So smart companies are building their responsible AI governance systems now to ensure that they are ready for avoiding litigation, for being in compliance with these laws that are being drafted across the globe today and making sure that they are building the trust of their own employees and their consumers.